Getting your dog to use all their senses is really important, and a sense that's often overlooked is a sense of smell. So we don't teach our dogs to use our, their sense of smell, and inevitably it gets them in trouble. So they start sniffing on the ground, they start sniffing people, they start sniffing here and sniffing there. And what we really want to do is put this in as part of the components of what we want the dog to understand. So a real fun way to do that is to teach the dog to detect our scent from something that um, could be inanimate. And usually what I like to use are these little uh, dowels, these little pieces of wood. This is super easy. You can go down to your local hardware store and just get some um, half inch or three quarter inch dowels cut. And you're gonna see I'm holding it with a pair of tongs. And I'm gonna explain that to why to you in a second. Um, and I'm gonna put actually a set of, eventually a set of five or so down on the ground. And I'm gonna ask my dog to detect my scent from all of the other ones which have no scent. And that means if I touch them all, they all have my scent on them. So I'm gonna use a pair of little tongs, little uh, cooking tongs. These are Janice, I don't know where she got them, but I'm sure you can probably get them on Amazon or something. And if I can find them, I'll put a link in the video description down below, like I always do. So what you're gonna want though, is you're gonna have four of these right now. I'm gonna actually only use three in this exercise but you'll need to know which one has your scent on it. And to know that, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put a mark on each one. And what I like to do is I like to number them one through, what a fooey on the grass, Goofy. Uh, one through whatever number you're gonna do. So I'm gonna put one, two, three, and four. Uh, getting your scent off of a, um, an article like this is done in Mondio Ring Sport, and it's a super fun sport that Goofy um, got his um, top level obedience in, uh, OBJ3, and this was one of the exercises. And it can get quite complicated, so you, um, you really want to be careful and know what you're doing. In the beginning phases of this, I just want to get him to understand holding it and bringing it to me, right? So I'm going to say, Goofy sits, hold, Goofy ouse, good. And getting him to understand that I've covered this in my hold videos and in my retrieve videos extensively, but the dog must understand hold out and give it to you. So the idea is he finds your scent, then he brings the article. Now, the second component of this, and in this video, I'm gonna cover it in one way, and I will do other videos that will cover this in different ways. The idea here is I want him to find my scent and bring my scent back. So what, that's a good boy, good boy. Goofy, come here. Bring it here, bring, 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 bring. Good, Aus. Good. And I want him to kind of be excited for the article. Again, this has his scent on it, my scent on it. We're not gonna use this. This is number four, I'm discarding this. And so all I'm gonna to do to start this is I'm gonna put this article down, wait, hey, hey, hey. And I'm gonna tell him using the retrieve, Goofy, bring, bring it, bring it good boy and he's going to bring it to me and he's going to let it go right and that's that's the basic idea he must understand the idea that the object is to find the object and bring it to me now what we're going to do is going to add another object in. i'm going to take this object out and i'm going to bring another two objects in so now what i'm going to do here is i'm holding plots i'm holding one in the tongs which does, has no scent on it and one in my hand which has a scent on it so what I want to do is get Goofy plots. He can't go near it. And I'm going to put both object, objects down. But I'm going to hedge Goofy's bet a little tiny bit by making it a little bit easier in this initial phase. And what I want to do, plots, is I'm going to add a little stronger scent to it just to get the learning to be fair, right? In other words, there has to be something very, very obvious. So I can take a treat, a real yummy treat, and rub it on my hand and on the object because it's gonna just, for a beginner dog, make it that much easier. Now this is number one, you can see that right here. That's number one, and I'm gonna put that down over here with number two. Now he's got a 50-50 shot of getting the right one, but we're gonna see if he gets that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make it kind of obvious. I'm gonna say, Goofy, come here. And I'm gonna let him smell my hand and say, Goofy, find mine. And let's see what he does. He figures it out. Here, out, and he got. Now he's already touched the number two, but only I have touched the number one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, Goofy, come here, plots. And I'm gonna again, use my tongs. I'm gonna take number two 
I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to put it there, right? And again, I've got number one, that's got my scent on. I'm going to put it down here, and I'm going to come back to Goofy. Goofy, come here. Come. And I'm going to have him smell so he knows this is the scent we're looking for. I'm going to turn, I'm going to say, find mine. Bring it here. Sit. House. Yeah, good boy. And I mark that. Good boy. That's a very good boy. And I'm going to put a label to this, like this is mine. Find mine, right? Wait. And I'm going to put it back over here with the other object. And I'm going to put it in a different place this time. And I'm going to take this one and put it here. Another quite, I'm going to put them at opposite ends of the platform just to make it a little bit more interesting and a little bit more fun. I'm going to say, Goofy, find mine. Now, good, out, and again, he got it. So now I'm going to mix it up this time. So you might say, well, maybe that's he saw me putting it down. So this time I'm going to tell him, Goofy, plots, wait. And I'm not going to let him see me putting it down. And I'm going to put the two more in front than the one. So it would be more logical, because the two is in front, that he would get the two. So let's see. And if he makes a mistake, I'm going to mark that mistake with a negative. Good. Find mine. Okay, now see. Oh. Sit. House. And again, he got it. Good boy. Now, I and what I can do now, since I know where it is, I can start to give you a little help. So if your dog is kind of having a harder time with this, Goofy's super smart, and some dogs will be super willing to do this, other ones are going to have a harder time with it. Um, I'm going to mark when he gets the article, I'm going to give him a little coaching. Goofy sits. Good. Right here. Good. Goofy, find mine. Yeah. Good boy. So he picked up the wrong one, but when he got the right one, I immediately marked on the right one.